If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. Welcome back to the show, you awesome people. Yes, yes, welcome indeed. And what do you know? We are already near the end of the year, which is great because some heavy hitters have finally come to play. That is so true. We are talking about God of War Ragnarok. Fresh out of the oven, and ooh wee, mm. is it ever as savory and mouth-watering as we expected? To me, God of War is one of those franchises that sets itself far and apart from other games in terms of story, energy, and enjoyable mm. gameplay. I've been playing God of War games for like from jump, and I enjoyed all of them. So, in anticipation of this latest title, I recently took a trip to the origin of Kratos' mm. character all the way over to Athens, Greece, and just had to see firsthand how this ancient civilization was really fantastic inspiration for the character and original story. I learned a lot of lore, saw ancient ruins, and even saw a rogue Spartan patrolling around the place. That said, I've come just in time with a slowly growing Kratos beard <laughs> to enjoy God of War Ragnarok recently released. So without any spoilers, we can tell you that this installment is every bit as great and as epic as the previous 2018 installment and maybe even 10 times more so. Let's start out with the story. It's been a few years since the events of 2018's God of War. How do we know? Because we can tell immediately that little Atreus isn't so little anymore. He's a lot more confident, focus and seems to understand his father Kratos better and how to get around him. But you find out more about this later in the game. Besides Atreus growing up on us, we are now aware that Ragnarok, the prophecy of the end of the gods and all things has begun, with a bitter winter that spans the entire world, triggered by Kratos defeating and killing Balder from the last game. The mission is to try to stop it. And in the midst of everything, find out the mystery of why does the prophecy call Atreus Loki? Mm. And what role does he play in all of this? This is just the beginning of things, but the story is told remarkably. And the voice acting is right up there next to Hollywood level status. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. If the moment calls for calm. I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. Every conversation and remark has meaning and is not wasted, whether it be Kratos expressing indifference in his grunts, Rossi his guttural war cries. Your son struck first! Good! or the rare but powerful moments where he communicates emotion in his voice not as the god of war but as father to his son is moving and absolutely satisfying. Full marks for voice acting and story but also the pacing of the game is great. You don't feel it drag along or that you're in one spot for too long. It's the end of the world mate, you gotta keep moving. Certainly I feel the game intends for you to experience this journey like a movie scene after scene, encounter after encounter, fight after fight, a beautifully flowing tapestry. Speaking of fights, simply legend, wait for it, dairy. It's hard to believe how Santa Monica Studios could have improved the combat this much over the stellar previous title. But holy smokes, expectations, tick, were exceeded. Not only do you have more moves at your disposal, but the enemy roster is even larger with baddies being fiercer this time around. Not to mention, boss fights are grand and cinematic with some clearly outclassing anything seen in the previous title. Also your weapons and tools offer you more mobility and your blades of chaos operate closer to the old school version of the blades from the original which can make fights feel even more frantic and chaotic, which is awesome. Along with all this chaos, the actual sound effects of bones crunching and flesh being flayed and sliced and obliterated brings to life what the God of War really is. The God of Death, basically.
this is only a small preview of what this game has to offer and we are still playing it. Mm. However, if you'd like to check out our gameplay, you can catch us on our Twitch this weekend playing and trying to beat this already impressive game. So yes guys, this was our spoiler free, mm -hmm. a spoiler free freely as we could do it, you Woo. know me. Just want to drop some hints on them. I, no, I can. no, no, you can't just, drop any hints. Just one small hint. No, no, we're not going to do this. Let's do it the Spartan way. Uh -huh. We stick to the mission. Uh -huh. Guys, I'm telling you, this game is amazing. And certainly as it started, it started with a bang. Mm. Obviously, the first boss that we come across, the first fight that we get into, it sets the toll of how powerful this roller coaster of a game is and it's going to be moving on from then forth so guys i can't tell you how satisfying the game has been so far and i'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out i want to tell you guys so much no but i got some mean looks over here but you can definitely check it out like we said on our twitch this saturday time displayed link displayed come and have some fun with us tell us how you feel and that's one quick good way to you know have some fun with the game by team hey. exactly so look guys well, you. well with that being said guys look forward to checking us out we look forward to, to hearing from you on our twitch stream and this is one of the biggest games of the year well worth the wait and well worth playing get it god of war ragnarok mm. you won't be disappointed no At regrets. Ahoo! Ahoo!